from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Okay. Now, normally on a Thursday, Old Mates starting to feel a little bit more upbeat. I say a little bit. But for a lot of us Victorians, well, the, the nightmare we're living in at the moment's only going to get a whole lot worse. But for those of you who are back at work, maybe getting your life back on track as best as you can, it is the second last day of the working week. You've only got to get through today and get through to the end of tomorrow and you're in the weekend for the clear. But can't get too far ahead of ourselves. On that note, let's get into the Thursday promo. Morning all, it is Thursday, second last day of the working week for those who've managed to get their lives back on track. Us Victorians though, the nightmare is getting worse, and as we have been told by a number of uh, politicians in a couple of states, we are the toxic waste dump of the country. It's no wonder we feel this small when no one in our political or bureaucratic world is defending us here in Victoria. It's no wonder we feel about this small. It doesn't do a lot of people a lot of good, believe you me. It's uh, just gone quarter past seven in the morning here, and before we get into the rest of the Thursday promo... Coffee time. <sighs> oh, it's very hard to smile these days, let me tell you. Alrighty, what do we are coming up here? Coming at you? <sighs> it didn't take long. Rewind reality, take two. Right, what have we got coming up here at Backyard Tech for a Thursday? Well, Paul Turner has released a new HBX. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a sticky beak at that this morning. We're going to do some more sun stuff as well. Um, and I'm, I'm starting to get annoyed again. Because I've got people suggesting I put Linux on it. You're all idiots suggesting that. Sorry. It, it's ridiculous. This is what gave me the screamings last time, is people suggesting Linux. They are not CISC servers. They are risk. If I know their risk, how come these idiots don't? I'm apps, you know. I get so fed up with people saying put Linux on it. They're Sun 4U servers. How come I know they don't run Linux? So we're going to get some more V490 stuff done today. Um, I believe I have found my Solaris Spark, Solaris 11 Spark Disk, 11 Express. Uh, I don't know if the ISO is in good condition, though. But we'll have to find that out. Um, so, Paul Turner with his latest HBX, more Sun V490 stuff. Today's convo, tonight's convo, uh, and that's about it. I've got to go to JCAR. Today at some stage, so I can get a um, thing for the console. 
Uh, we're not going to get time to build that today, but I do want to see if I can at least get Solaris to install on the V490 as is, in theory. So there we go. That is what is on the cards for the day here at Backyard Tech. Um, I, well, I am going to say one thing off the meat of the bat. Anyone who suggests I install Linux on those things, your comment will just get deleted straight away. Because clearly there's some idiots out there that can't tell the goddamn difference between a risk and system. I can. I've been doing it for over 20 years. Power PC, risk. Spark, risk. ARM, risk. Reduced instruction set computer. You get these idiots out there who are saying, oh, put Linux on it. They don't run Linux. And even then, if I could get Ultra Linux off Debian, there's no guarantee it'll run on my Sun servers because of the architecture. So if I know it, you all should know it. I'm sorry to be grumpy first thing in the morning on a Thursday morning, but I am fed up with these people who say, oh, just put Linux on, it'll be fine. They don't run bloody Linux. They're natively a Solaris Unix server. So how come I know that and these idiots don't? You know, I'm, I'm just, that was part of the problem I was having was people saying, put Linux on it. And you got other people saying, oh, don't, I've never used Unix. Well, if you've never used Unix, why are you telling me to put Linux on it? Sun for you, Ultra Spark. Get it through your heads, you idiots. Because I know their spark. I know their risk. If you've been around this channel long enough, you ought to know the difference between risk and CISC. Reduced instruction set versus complex instruction set. X8664. Reduced instruction set means reduced instructions to do the same operation. It's a condensed system. I've known that for over 20 years. So if you suggest Linux, your comment just gets deleted. Because I don't want to go through a whole pile of comments with the V490. Put Linux on it. Put Linux on it. Try this. Try this. Try this. No. Solaris. Anyway, that'll do it. I'm sorry to be grumpy in the morning, but these idiots who are supposed computer people clearly are dumb because they make me look intelligent for crying out loud not that that's you know no mean feat it doesn't take much to make me look intelligent but for crying out loud they are sun for you spark scalable processor architecture how come I know that and you get half these idiots. Oh, put Linux on it. Put Debian on it. Put all... <laughs> First off, why would you put Linux on something that's natively designed to run with no problem? All the configurations are in there for the hardware. Solaris. Get it through your heads. So that's the plan. Anyone who says put Linux on it, the comment just gets trashed. And for those that don't know the difference between risk and CISC, read up. There we go. Anyway, stick around. A few bits and pieces coming up here at Backyard Tech for a Thursday. We will uh, we'll catch you through. We'll, uh, we'll catch you through the day. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.